Yo, what's good guys? So I wanted to make this video about a dilemma that maybe some of you are maybe in and I am in uh, currently. So I have a uh, MSI Z690 Unified Motherboard and of course the uh, Intel Z790 boards just came out. And the issue I have with the current uh, Z790 motherboards are is uh, they don't support uh, PCI Express 5 for the both uh, M2 uh, SSD slots. They only support it in one. And so for those of you like myself who are running grade setups, I'm running two uh, Western Digital SN850s, uh, one terabyte, uh, basically combined to be uh, two terabyte, in RAID 0. And the issue is uh, with those in RAID, I'm going to assume that those are probably equal to what a PCI Express uh, 5.0 SSD would be. I just ran uh, my RAID uh, O drives uh, through Crystalmark, and these are the read speeds, so 13,000 uh, megabits per second, uh, megabytes per second, and write speed 10,600. And I believe uh, those are around the stats of the current uh, PCI 5.0 uh, SSDs that are going to be coming out. Of course, they'll probably get faster. But the issue I have is if you were to get to the if you were to get a Z790 motherboard, uh, in like let's say you have a 13 Gen CPU like I do and you decide to go to the Z790, then the issue is when you want to run RAID, if you want to run the latest drives, like a PCI Express 5.0 drive, uh, you can't run them in RAID because uh, basically those motherboards uh, do not support uh, RAID in, for both uh, the... the basically, it only supports uh, 5.0 uh, speed for one slot. So here's an example, like Newegg. Here's one of the most expensive... Well, not one of the most, but one of the more expensive motherboard, so Asus Rogue Maximus uh, Z790 Hero for 630. But if you scroll down to the stats here, uh, let's see. So the uh, M2 slot, there's only one that supports the PCI 5.0 mode. So you wouldn't be able to run those in RAID. You'd only be running that one drive. So I kind of think that it may be smart to uh, wait until they release motherboards uh, with uh, two uh, five pin slots. And here's another example. Uh, I tried to find this on Newegg for somebody who wouldn't come up. I'm a big fan of MSI boards. I just like their BIOS setup. Nothing against a Asus. I've worked with Asus with their, of course, graphics card. They got the Asus Strix RTX 4090. I love the company, don't get me wrong. But for some reason, I just like the setup on the MSI boards, uh, their, their BIOS, uh, I'm just so used to it. So I've been pretty uh, familiar with and working with their boards. I never really had any issues. So here's another example of a pretty high-end board, currently out of stock. It says add to the car, but it's out of stock. But I considered it. Uh, yeah, it's actually a temporary stock, out of stock. Uh, I considered it, but the issue again is uh, those PCI 5.0 drives, uh, they only support... Uh, the 5.0 for the one slot. So if you were to run RAID with those two new drives, which will be coming out hopefully soon in the future, maybe in 2023, uh, you wouldn't be able to run, run those in RAID. And so if you're already running, uh, you know, pretty high-end drives in RAID 0, and you're getting speeds, you know, similar to this, uh, there's really no reason to upgrade to that board if, uh, you know, you could only run one piece of Express 5.0 drive. Now, one thing I do want to mention is I did read an article. I wish I saved it, but I was on Google on my phone. You know, sometimes when you're on an Android phone and you go to Google, it'll show like popular uh, news events. Mine usually shows stuff about tech because I'm, you know, I'm into tech stuff. So I remember seeing uh, an article, which I wish I saved, like I said, but it was saying that they compared uh, Z690 motherboards, even like a high end board. Like, for example, like this Unify, which is a pretty high-end MSI board. Uh, it's got, a, I think, a 19.2-phase VRM. It's a good overclocking board. I think it's got a, I don't know if it's a world record or what, but it's got a really high record for uh, an overclock uh, on the i9-2900KS. I think it was like 6.8 gigahertz or 6.2, I can't really remember. Uh, but my point is, uh, the article said that they compared a Z690 motherboard with a Z790 with Intel 13 Gen, and they were saying that there was a 13%, not sorry, there was a between a 15 and 25% difference in performance uh, of a board that was on the Z690 chipset compared to the Z790. 
So when I saw that article, I wish I saved it, like I said, uh, that kind of made me think, oh crap, so I'm losing potentially, you know, 15 to 20% of my uh, CB power because I'm on a slightly older chipset. Of course, I do have a nice board. It's a high-end board, but uh, apparently in the article, they said they were going to further test uh, more boards. Uh, and of course, it was with DDR5 memory. So that was one thing that kind of shocked me because they were saying originally there wasn't really going to be much of a difference besides uh, higher U USB speeds on the Z790 and of course that one uh, M2 SSD 5.0 slot, which I already mentioned, uh, which is a kind of a problem because then you want if you want to run raid with those 5.0 slot uh, 5.0 drives then you can't so that's my dilemma i just wanted to mention that so if any of you are in that current situation and uh you know you just may want to wait until they release uh, motherboards uh with the two 5.0 slots and so that's just my little little thing that i want to bring up and talk about so other than that uh my power supply the seasonic uh, 1300 watt platinum power supply uh they dished did ship my uh, five, uh, PCI 5.0 cable, which will basically be a new cable that I have that connects to the card that only uses two uh, eight-pin power connectors. And for those of you who ask, I know some people said, oh, "Did your card burn up?" or you know, just talk with Mac. Which I, you know, you know, people can talk whatever they want. I'll still love the comment. I don't care really what you say. You know, I'm a really positive guy. I don't really let somebody bother me if they say something. You know, that tries to piss me off. Because if you do, you know, fight back or, you know, piss them off, it just, it's a never-ending uh, comment war. So, what I basically am um, trying to say is, I do not have my cable bent at all. I basically plugged it in, I only plugged it in once, and see there's like no bend. Basically, I just plugged in the cables, and then routed them like that. I didn't mess with it, I didn't bend it, I didn't, you know, unplug it, plug it back in, just plugged it in once, and just let it set the way it is. And in my case is a uh, Corsair Obsidian 1000 It's a super tower case, so most people I was dealing with the case this big, but there's really no issue uh, with my cable hitting the window. There's just so much space, so I know one person originally asked me, how's the spacing? But there's plenty of space in this case. as it's a super tower case running a 420 millimeter radiator and I got all kinds of case fans and all the, you know, good uh cooling and stuff so just thought i wanted to bring that up and uh so if any of you guys are also in that dilemma just let me know and uh, until then i'll keep making videos and then uh, if you like uh seeing content with gaming uh overclocking tests with uh, my i9 1300kf cpu which i always have 5.7 gigahertz i actually never ran this cps sock ever since it's been plugged in and powered on for the first time it's been 5.7 gigahertz at 1.285 voltage in the BIOS. And then my ASUS Strix RTX 4090 has always been overclocked for all my gaming tests at uh, these speeds. And then the memory does go higher. I can bring up the memory to um, 1250, I believe, but I just run at 1185 uh, all day, every day. And the GPU clock, I have an additional 200 megahertz on the core offset. And for those of you who want to see the MSI afterburner settings, uh, core voltage 100% I am forcing a uh, constant voltage so when you go to the uh, Voltage options. Let me try to read here. I'm reading uh, You're gonna want to click unlock voltage control and force constant voltage. So that's one thing that kind of helps uh, Keep everything stable. So core offset uh, 200 megahertz and memory 1185 and then my max uh, stable is this so 205 offset core and 1250 Normally I render fans at 100%, but I just have it down so I can make this video. So, yeah, so that's about it. Just wanted to make that little video and talk about that, the kind of dilemma. And I just want to say that you're better off just waiting uh, until basically those motherboard support two PCI 5.0 uh, drives. And then until then, we'll see you guys next time. So this is normally how I have my case lighting up set up. I close I, uh, IQ, Corsair IQ. Uh, to just basically show more of the inside because the blue doesn't light up the board very good. So until then, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, happy Friday. Hope you guys are ready for a nice uh, weekend and hopefully it's some nicer weather. And I'll see you guys around. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask me. And until then, see you guys for the next video. Peace out and thanks for watching.